Before jumping into the video, let's first thank our sponsor. Printing is love. Our passion is to help you get the models you want. We can print your files, or if you don't have one, we offer our own professional designing service. We can print from multiple materials, depending on your needs. We also offer spray and hand painting for affordable prices. Once we are ready, we will make sure the model is well packaged and will arrive right at your doorstep without a scratch. Make sure to check out our web shop where you can definitely find a funny idea or the perfect present for a loved one. You can find our links down below in the description. We put love in printing because printing is love. Yes? I'm here for the mirror. It's ready. Do you have my payment? Yes, a hundred orns. Beastie Beta? How are things between you and the Vodianoi? Everything all right? Well, I hope. But you can never be certain with fish people. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. I killed the fishman. Dear God. Gods, what is it? Take your 800 orange and remove that nasty thing. Farewell.
Follow the noon wraith. Come with me. Alina, gaze in the mirror. Alina? Take a good look. It's... So romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilfgaardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Me? I don't know. That's sad. You should fall in love. Was that necessary? Yeah. Listen, I have a problem with a noon wraith. The famous white wolf asks me for help? No choice, unfortunately. Well, it sounds like you need to talk to a diviner or the Lady of the Lake. Only they can tell you more. Thanks. You're not completely useless. Yeah. Farewell. Mm.
Yes. Why the Fisher King? Hmm. Shinaz called you clever. Yet your voice betrays that tone so typical of males who think they may treat their lovers as property. Milady, I... You think yourself the only, the best, the biggest. Milady. Males are all alike. I'm sorry. I'll be going. You're too old to take offense. Not everyone can master the bedroom. I'm going. I jest. It wasn't that bad. Now we are even. Milady, please tell me how to send the soul of Alina, a noon wraith, into the beyond. Alina's soul no longer understands who she is. Her memory has joined all the women who died in the sun-drenched fields. How can I restore her identity? By no small miracle, Alina acquired a Nehalenia's mirror. With it, oracles and prophets could foretell the future. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror worked, partially. Alina thinks she's alive and plans to marry. Lost souls of the dead are more sensitive than the living. Poetry should halt her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Yes? Yes? Why hurry? Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk.
Roxy. Gerald? How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. My lady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! 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 Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me, Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen, leave a like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you have something to say, don't keep it to yourself, just post a comment. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Goodbye.